So we're going to get started with Nancy Lenoyle, the California State Archivist. Good morning. I'd like to welcome you all. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank and acknowledge uh, Amanda Meeker, the director of the California Museum, and her staff um, for assisting with facilitating this morning's program. 166 years ago, the California legislature, meeting in its first session in San Jose, charged the Secretary of State with safely keeping and preserving the records of California's government and any other subject which may be a, a interesting or valuable as references or authorities to the government or people of the state. Today we take another step in making the records of our state available to the public by showcasing three exhibits drawn from the various collections of the California State Archives. The partnership with Google provides us with the ability to share these stories and our state's history through digitization of archival records. Until today, seeing these exhibits would require a trip to Sacramento. Now Californians and people around the world will be able to enjoy and learn from these exhibits. The ability to digitize records and make them available online is an important way to increase public access to public records. Not every record created can or will be digitized, but digitization opens the door to making many more records available to the public. I wish to acknowledge the archive staff members who researched and curated these exhibits, who digitized the materials, and particularly, I want to acknowledge archivist Jessica Herrick and Deputy State Archivist Rebecca Wendt, who have been working with Google to make today possible. I also wish to thank Secretary Padilla for leading and supporting the effort to begin to create an archives online for the people of California. There is more to do, and our partnership with Google is an important step in that direction. And now I'd really like to introduce Secretary Padilla. Thank you, Nancy, and good morning, everybody. Thank you all for being here. Uh, Amanda and everybody here at the museum for your hospitality. Uh, talk about the Google Cultural Institute in a second. But Nancy, thank you and, and your entire team for all the work that it's taken to get us to this day. And, uh, and we're just getting started. Uh, so thank you. Uh, you know, when I was uh, sworn in as Secretary of State almost, almost a year and a half ago, time's fine. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I knew because it had campaigned on some of the better publicly known and important divisions of the Secretary of State's office as an agency. The Elections Division, the Business Programs Division, and the Political Reform Division. Uh, but I have to confess that uh, almost immediately it was the, the archives that became the most fascinating to me. And as Nancy helped me become more and more familiar with the contents of the state's archives, uh, I immediately became eager uh, to use technology to make our history more available online. And the good news is we didn't have to reinvent the wheel. We knew that Google had some proven experience in this area. Google has digitized and shared some of the finest and most impressive art in the world. Think the galleries of Van Gogh, Gallo, Rivera, and Monet being just a click away. And there's so much more. And so we reached out to my friend, Mofaro Ezi, Google's Manager of Public Policy and Government Relations, whom I remember from our days in the State Senate. And we subsequently learned of the civil rights exhibits of the Google Cultural Institute platform and recognized a tremendous opportunity to use the platform to share our exhibits. And so I truly appreciate Google's vision and leadership on uh, this effort, and most importantly, the partnership, which I believe reflects Google's commitment to our culture, to our history, and yes, to the state of California. Working together, we will be sharing the stories and the, uh, of California and uh, people of all ages will also be able to explore California's fascinating history at their fingertips. Uh, I'd like to introduce now, from Google, Lofado Lizzie.
thank you, Secretary Padilla and Archivist Linoil and your, your entire team. We're so excited to, to be here today and participate in this announcement. Um, you know, Google, uh, as you know, um, has been committed for many years to organizing the world's information and making it universally accessible and useful to the math masses, whether it's in California, across the country, or across, across the globe, frankly. And so, you know, this is another opportunity for us to really part partner with phenomenal cultural institutions like the State Archives that really have tremendous, tremendous resources that speak to so many interesting threads of California's legacy and why so many things in California are not just relevant across the country, but really across the globe. And so we're excited about this partnership to be able to bring technology to bear on making these types of resources available to people all across the world. We're not talking about thousands of people anymore. We're not talking about millions of people anymore. We're talking about billions of people, and that's what's really exciting about this. You know, I was born and raised in California, lived here my entire life, went to school here, and as a child of immigrants, always knew that there was something really special about California, whether it's companies like Google, for example, that are really helping move California's economy forward, or whether it's so many interesting cultural legacies that have helped make California what it is today. And over the course of the past couple of days, as I was reviewing the content that's being uploaded via the Cultural Institute and the technology platform, I was really reminded of, of that legacy. So whether it's the history of the State Archives and the Secretary of State's office and the important work they do to really compile and preserve the treasures of California's history, or whether it's the legacy of our wonderful state's park system, which is so tremendous. Many of us have had the opportunity to visit those parks with our friends and families over the years. Or whether it's the innovators in the campaign space who really uh, developed and thought through what a modern day campaign is gonna look like with the Whitaker Baxter firm and their important history in California, nationally, and also across the globe in terms of how political campaigns are done. Those were all really exciting things, and we're excited as Google to be partnering with the Secretary's Office and the State Archives to make those resources and more available again, not just for thousands, not just for millions, but for billions of users across the globe. And we hope this is gonna be the beginning of a, of a long and growing partnership with the State Archives and the Secretary of State's Office. So thank you again for the opportunity, and we're just really thrilled to be here. Uh, with that, I'm going to introduce the director of our wonderful state's park system, Lisa Mavia. Good morning. Um, we are so um, proud and privileged to be here today, along with the Secretary of State, Google, um, and the State Archivist, Nancy Lenoyal, in celebrating an innovative project like this. I think you're hearing a theme here. It's about partnership. It's about creating more connections between government and the public. And I think uh, what you hear, uh, myself, I have to confess, similar to the Secretary uh, Padilla, is that when I joined California State Parks, I thought of, of what most of us think about California State Parks, these natural, cultural, and historic resources, the places in California State Parks. And very quickly, my staff educated me that we, while not to the scale of the Secretary of State, play a very crucial role in protecting and preserving things and objects and collections and artifacts that represent the history of California. And it's through these collections that we bring California state history to life, and we take very seriously that role. Um, and I will tell you that um, we, we spend a lot of time, and I think there's, there's been a lot of advancements in how we protect and preserve um, these special objects from kind of the damages of uh, the passage of time, we still are very much on the leading edge of thinking about how is it that we can change this relationship between government and the public. And this is a perfect example of this. And I think, um, as it was said, I think that that's brilliantly stated, that we're no longer talking about thousands or millions of people, that we're talking about billions of people around the world being able to enjoy um, these three digitized collections um, that the Secretary of State um, is launching today. So, um, you know, simply put, it's, it's a big deal. And that, as preservationists and, protect, and people that are charged with protecting these, um, these cultural and historic objects, that, in our view, is very much an essential part of preservation and protection. These, these objects and these archives and these documents should not be the state's best kept secrets. 
And I think any step that we make to move away from that notion and in making more connections with the public is a good thing. I think also it's a wonderful thing you see, this is an example of a public-private partnership. State government is not always um, easy uh, to partner with, so I really commend the Secretary of State for their vigilance in making this happen. And I can tell you, um, a couple of years ago, we had a very different experience. Um, we partnered with Google Trekker for the last two years uh, with Google. For the last two years, um, you may not have known it, but there have been Google staff quietly walking the trails of over 100 of our parks across the state to document and to protect, protect and preserve and to make these, these experiences available online. And, and these, uh, I actually have the privilege of wearing one of these Google Trekker packs on my back. I think it's about 50 pounds. Um, so you can imagine what it's like to walk up and down the California coastline to record these images. Um, so we're very proud to be um, participating with the Secretary of State today. Um, and we hope that you join us in celebrating um, the importance of this event, and the importance of it is, is not diminished. So, thank you so very much. I guess it's a secret out. We're working on uh, autonomous Sherpas now. <laughs> uh, driverless uh, trail guides, or some terminology. Um, I get a chance to describe two other uh, exhibits that we're also launching today in conjunction with the uh, State Parks exhibit. And you know that the symbolism actually just continues. Uh, as much as Californians have valued and invested in state parks over time, it's not just a park, it's not just an artifact, but the value is in making them accessible to people and not keeping them hidden away for purposes of protecting them for future generations, as it is with the state's archives and its contents as well. But the other exhibits that uh, are being launched today, one explores the history of the office of the Secretary of State, because the very first bill passed by the very first legislature when California was becoming a state, dealt with the Secretary of State's office and, and, and uh, uh, the maintenance of the archives, but clearly the uh, various responsibilities and duties of the Secretary had evolved and grown over time. I just wish the budget would evolve and grow over time. <laughs> Uh, commensurately. This exhibit is uh, titled To Keep, Protect, and Preserve and highlights a number of secretaries who have left their mark on this agency and on state government. They include March Fong Yu, who with a steady hand led this office and enjoyed overwhelming public support for nearly two decades. The exhibit includes uh, now Governor Jerry Brown and the time uh, he served a term as Secretary of State in California and making California, under his leadership, a national leader in political reform and accountability in campaign finance. And of course, there's father and son, Frank C. Jordan and Frank M. Jordan, who combined served 56 years in the office of Secretary of State and were known for managing, for managing the office of the open door. Uh, and focusing on constituent service. You know, so that's the second of the three exhibits along with state parks. The uh, third is a, uh, an exhibit about the first modern day professional campaign firm known as Campaign Inc. Led by the dynamic duo of Clem Whitaker and Leon Baxter, they introduced many of the campaign tactics that we as the public and voters are uh, witness to to this very day but it was Whitaker and Baxter who were the pioneers. They ran the campaign to defeat Upton Sinclair, and they ran the campaign supporting Wendell Wilkie. They used all sorts of advertising and gimmicks, and they did not pull any punches. <laughs> After managing campaigns for Earl Warren, Warren actually grew wary of their tactics. He liked to win, but he was uncomfortable with how he won. And later, Warren would find himself at odds uh, with uh, Whitaker and Baxter on the issue of national health care. Whitaker and Baxter were the ones who coined the term socialized medicine, and they spent more than $5 million to defeat efforts for nationalizing health care. This was in the 1940s. $5 million in the 40s would be about $50 million today. 
And a great feature of this Whitaker Baxter exhibit is the digitized motion picture campaign ads supporting the likes of Governor Goodwin Knight and, of course, Richard Nixon when he was running for president against John F. Kennedy. State Parks, the Secretary of State's Office, and Whitaker Baxter. All three of these exhibits, highly, highly informative and fascinating. And this is just the beginning. In the months and the years ahead, we will continue to work to prepare more exhibits to be made available online for all the world to explore and to enjoy. I want to thank you all for being here, our partners in this effort, Google Cultural Institute, State Parks, of course, uh, Archives Division of the Secretary of State's Office,